Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So coming to you today, and I just wanted to show you something that I got in the mail. It was a, a pretty much a complete surprise. So I'll tell you kind of how it went down. A guy by the name, uh, he goes by Reloading Fun on uh, here on YouTube and then also on Instagram. That's what he, uh, well, he actually goes by his actual name on Instagram, but he goes by Reloading Fun on YouTube and he had made, uh, I believe he had made a couple of comments. I can't remember if it was on a video that I posted or if he commented in a live stream. It might've been a live stream that I did. And he was commenting, hey, I've got some targets that I made that I would like to send you and you can just sort of check them out and see what you think, right? Well, he had made that comment. I completely forgot about it and just forgot to try to track him down. Well, I did a, another live stream and he was back in the in the chat, and I believe he was like, "Hey, you know, don't forget I got those targets." And I was like, "Hey, if you're if the best way to get in touch with me, just message me on Instagram, and it's Alabama Reloader there. Just go over, shoot me a message, and, and we can figure something out." So I did that, and I've been out of town for work all week. I've been in Arkansas, and look what showed up. So love coming home to su uh, surprises. It's fun stuff. We'll see what he sent. Uh, I have no idea. He didn't send me pictures or anything. I have no clue what these targets look like. So, But he did send me a follow-up message. Um, he, you know, he let me know, hey, they're in the mail. Hey, you know, they're on their way. Hey, have you got them yet? You know, all that. And I was like, no, I'm out of town for work, so I haven't got a chance to see them. He did send me a follow-up message on Instagram and say something about one of the categories on here was supposed to be something different, but... We'll worry about that. I'll have to go back and you know look at the the message and see what it was. But oh, nice! What do we have here? Well, these are like I thought it'd be something kind of like a eight and a half by eleven, you know, or whatever kind of sheet. This is definitely not that. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, he sent me a couple of copies of these. Uh, let's see, how many, how many we got here? Three, I think. Yeah, I got three. Nice. Well, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, reloading fun. Anderson, I believe is your first name. Uh, I really appreciate the targets. I'm definitely about to put these bad boys to use. And what I'm really thinking about doing is shooting. Uh, let's see, shooting this. Oh, I think he's, I, I can't remember. He said one of these was supposed to be SD. I wonder if it's extreme spread. Uh, so you've got your target here and then you've got, you know, you list the powder, the bullet, uh, based on ogive measurement, what primer you're using, uh, velocity, Oh wait, no, I think I think that's right. That I think his because uh, he's got average velocity here. I believe the velocity number or the velocity category was supposed to be SD, either velocity or the average velocity. One one of one of these right in here is supposed to be SD. Uh, I believe that was the message that he sent me. But so that that's probably what I'll end up doing for the velocity. What I'll probably do is just put the actual average velocity of the group. And then on average velocity, I'll probably mark through that and just write SD off to the side. That's typically how I, you know, in my spreadsheets and stuff, that's normally how I document everything anyway. I, I pretty much go average velocity, SD, then extreme spread. And then uh, here recently I've been adding, you know, mean radius to, to the end of it as well. So I'll go into the Hornady app and I'll use their group analysis feature and just get the mean radius. If if it's something I want to pursue and it's a, a it's a gun that I own that I'm going to be using myself and it's something that I want to, you know, kind of investigate further, or really try to dial in a hunting load uh, for something that I have, then I, I kind of, I'll look at the mean radius also. But yeah, really cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Reloading Fun. So I really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to get these targets put to uh, good use. I actually picked up, uh, I got my uh, buddy of mine that I go to church with that I've already worked up a hunting load for uh, in his 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a CVA Cascade with the Veil camo, really, really sharp looking gun. Uh, already worked up a hunting load for that, but I did uh, 
uh, just sort of uh, kind of poked him a little bit. And I was like, hey, if you don't mind, bring that back uh, to church. Let me pick it up from you again because I want to go try uh, the Hornady, the 130 grain CX bullets in that, in that uh, particular setup. So I've got the Federal Primed 6.5 Creedmoor Brass, the stuff that I bought from AmericanReloading.com. And I've got, I think, just over 100 pieces of that. And it's already primed, ready to go. I'll, I'll prep it a little bit uh, as far as just I'll run it through a sizing die without the decapping assembly and all of that fun stuff. I, I don't want to punch the primer out. I just want to run it up in there. Even though it's new brass, I want to run it up in there, uh, just kind of uniform everything out, and it, you know, make it uniform in terms of the body dimensions and everything. And then I'll run a mandrel through the neck, uh, just sort of round out that case mouth and again, better uniformity and, and consistency for the, the test that I want to run. But I want to pair that bullet up with probably Superformance. I, I think I might do a test where I test Superformance and H4350 uh, for him just to see what shoots the best. It, it, it'll be some, you know, it, it won't be super in depth testing, but I just want to see if that particular setup is going to really like that, that bullet powder combination, if it'll shoot well then I'll load up a bunch uh, of that and give it to him and take back the 140 grain SST hunting load that I worked up for him. So I'll just swap it out, but that's it. That's where I'm going to leave it. So, sh you know, super short video today. Again, thank you so much reloading fun. I really appreciate the, the targets. These are about to get put to really good use. So that's it. That's where we're going to leave it. Short video today, nothing really uh, reloading or range related because again, I've been out of town for work all week. So got to get over to the range. Hopefully it'll cool off pretty soon because it's like 100 degrees today. But uh, I mean, we're closing in. We're closing in, guys. It's August 30th. We are closing in. Hunting season, is it, it'll be here before we know it. So that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time. Y'all have a good one.